Welcome, parents of Britain, to Cambridge Homeschool Online. My name is Ahmed Abdurrahim. I'm 15 years old and I'm currently in my first year of taking the Cambridge IGCC course in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. It is my pleasure to film this introductory video as a sort of day in the life of a CHS IGCSE student. So, when my family had decided we were making the move to Saudi Arabia last September, we knew that schooling for me would be the hardest thing to sort out. I had gone through uh, 10 years of the British schooling system and needed to finish my GCSEs and A-levels. Usually, you can find British schools all over Saudi Arabia, but in this area, we were completely out of luck. That's when we stumbled upon CHS Online and eventually concluded that it was realistically our best course of action. Of course, we had our doubts since this new age of online schooling is pretty fa uh, fairly new, but these doubts were almost immediately dispelled. I have thoroughly been enjoying my lessons so far, especially in English, History and Computer Science. And when I say it feels like a normal school, exactly like a normal school, I don't exaggerate. However, I do appreciate that you may still be wanting to know how things go down over here, so I'll give you a quick rundown. Firstly, classes are held on Microsoft Teams, which is a platform that allows for the replication of a classroom. Classes are held as a call where students can join, see and even interact with their peers and teachers. All lessons are recorded and posted at the end of the lesson for those who may not be able to attend. Furthermore, homework can be set through the assignments function Teams has going that allows for easy tracking of students' work and progress. And the class notebook is the final main function that we'll use and it's a place where students can fill their work and a teacher can see exactly what they're doing in real time as if they're there with the student. One of the great things about online schooling is it's very hard to lose work that's been uploaded. It's all saved to the Microsoft Cloud, which I'm sure is a very secure place. Outside of lessons, you will find the same level of interaction with both students and teachers. Seeing the same faces and voices will definitely lead you to get to know people much better. Personally, I can confidently say that I've built many relationships with uh, many of my teachers and made some very nice friendships too. We also have extracurricular activities, clubs, as well as house competitions and even a school newspaper. I am, in fact, a proud member of the Book and Film Club held by the English teacher, Mrs. Howard. Besides school life, you will most definitely be wondering about the exams which is understandable. GCSEs are an important milestone for students in the British schooling system. In that case, I'm glad to inform you that the process to sit in an exam is very simple. Registering happens on the British Council website. When registering, you need to first make sure you're registering as a private candidate because we're doing online school. I would access the Saudi Arabia domain because that's where I live, and if you live in the UK, then you'd obviously access the UK domain. Payment information will be sent to you after registering, and exam venues and timetables will be sent sometime closer to the date of the exam. The website walks you through much better than I can, so I would encourage you to have a good read of it as well. Keep in mind that exams do happen at a venue and are not done online. However, that's pretty much it. It's a quick and easy process. I would like to include this video by emphasizing that the environment at CHS is wonderful and ecstatic. The school is free from bullying and other sorts of mishaps, and the students really encourage each other to push on. And you will always feel like you can talk to the teachers about anything. They're very understanding. That goes for both students and for parents. Anyhow. That'll be all from me. I hope I cleared up any worries or questions you may have had. I hope to see any newcomers soon and thank you for your time.